Hello there guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the fourth experimental build in my little series. Uh, this one focused around Latent Power Secret. Now, you probably did read the title and thought, why Latent Power Secret? Well, it's actually really, really good. Um, so you can see here, I have 40% affinity, right? This is without any buffs, it's just 40% affinity. Now, when, when Latent Power gets activated, I'll actually have 100% affinity and it'll reduce my stamina depletion by 50%. Considering this is a hammer build, that's really good, because hammer depletes stamina when you're charging. Given, obviously, you can time your attacks and build up your your charge without the need to lose stamina, if you do it properly. But, in situations where you may be ice blighted, um, or, I don't know, you just you aren't close enough to the monster, but you can't be bothered to recharge your hammer. You know, you won't deplete that stamina fast. That's just kind of an added bonus though. Really we're in it for the affinity. So um getting into the build here. Uh, actually, after hearing all that, you're probably questioning why not just use three weakness exploit. Well the reason is is because it's difficult to slot in weakness exploit crit boost and focus 3 on a hammer while maintaining maximum attack boost, slugger 5 and good enough crit eye that weakness exploit along with latent power in this case would get you 100%. So yeah, I wanted I wanted focus in here. I wanted to have 100% affinity with focus, with crit boost, with agitator 5, with slugger 5, with maximum attack boost and whatever else I could put in here, right? I wanted everything. So to do that, latent power was the play. So here's the build, of course. All the decos, specced into mostly crit stuff, as per usual. Uh, but then we have free focus in here, because I wanted focus. So, yep, that's it. Copy all that. Uh, I guess I'll show off what per perks my... Uh, Hammer has here. This is a paralysis hammer just because I don't have another blast one. The only blast one I had was the one I used on Stamina Thief, and I don't want to change that because the Stamina Thief build is actually awesome and I've been using it a lot. So, yeah, don't really want to change that. I'll probably have to farm more Safi, get another blast hammer, or just go meld, try and get one from there. RNG is pretty awful though, so maybe that won't work. But yeah, pretty straightforward. I went with attack and health because we don't need affinity anymore, right? Because we already have 100%. So yeah, pretty straightforward build. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, there we go. So we've got latent power 3 here. Attack boost 3. Crit eyes slugger. Latent power again. And then slugger 3, attack 1. And you get these results. I did go peak performance down here just because I didn't know what else to put with focus. So I put recovery up. And I was like, okay, well if we've got recovery up, we may as well just go with peak performance down here since... I've got nothing else to put down here, really. Nothing else needs topping off, and as a new perk, peak performance works pretty well, because just 5 free attack. I could do Coalescence, actually, to get, what, 12 free attack? But, um... Then I'd need, I'd need to get Blighted with this mantle on, which is kind of not gonna work. I mean, I mean it could work, but it's just not gonna be as efficient. So, um, yeah, that's that's the build. I can't really show off anything build-related in here because latent power can't activate in here. But you're still there. I only hit one of those crits. Soon, we're going to hit them all. Um, I'm probably going to fight Frostfang Barry off. going to go for a four-minute something run. Um, I'll probably only do a couple and then choose the best one. Hopefully I get something like... I mean, 4 minute 30 would be a good, an ideal spot, but I'll take anything within 4 minutes, right? And anything faster than that, obviously. So yeah, this is the build. Hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully it works out for you. And let me know what you think, because the builds recently have been doing really well. And I love making these builds, so that's really awesome. And uh, the experimental builds, you know, they're completely wacky and just crazy. But they work so well somehow. So, I mean, if you've got any crazy builds like this, you know, latent power secret of all things, um, that you think is actually really good, let me know and maybe I'll cover it because I've been loving covering these random builds because they work so well. 
So yeah, that's it. Hopefully you enjoy the hunt. Let me know what you think of the build and adios. Goodbye.